Hello crafty friends, Alicia from Love Letter Generation, hope you're all doing well. I am on here with a craft haul from Timu. These are just some um, necessities that I was needing as well as um, stocking up for other pretty things and also getting prepared for Halloween crafting. So I've got quite a few things to, to share with you today. So. You might want to grab grab a drink or a snack. Um, so I'll just move some things off to the side. Some things I'm I'm happy with, and other things I'm not. It just yeah depends on what you what you grab. But um, I ended up grabbing myself one of these uh, paper cutters that you can use for when you're traveling or going away somewhere. It's just good to keep on hand to cut like your smaller, um, I think it's A4 size paper. And I do have one of these already in my um, travel craft caddy, but I'm not like a big fan of it. It's like a really dark pink and there's like an orange um, piece here for the... Um, the cutting blade so I wanted this pretty pink one here and then it's also got the pink um, blade piece as well I'm hoping you can just pop um, any sort of blades in here but yeah this is great for when you're wanting to go away and just cut some um, smaller pieces of paper to make like embellishments and things like that and it was a really good price as well. Um, next, I ended up grabbing some things for packaging up Happy Mail. So I grabbed this um, pink tissue paper and it has like um, gold foiled hearts on it. And I like to pop these in the boxes for when I'm packaging up a swap or um, a rack. And let me see, does it say how many sheets? Just says pink, golden, small love. And oh, 10 pieces. So you get 10 pieces of that um, tissue paper. I then grabbed this um, packaging tape. I don't have like a nice sort of colourful pre-packaging tape that's um, like has a strong adhesive so I've been wanting to get this pink one for quite some time now um, this is 40 yards um, which I'm not sure what that is because we don't really use yards I don't think here um, and it says it's um, 1440 inch in in size so what's is that about 14 no that wouldn't be 14 centimeters is that maybe four centimeter let me just have a look that's inches just want to check the width yeah so it's close to it's about four and a half centimeters wide so I wanted a nice wide one for packaging up the boxes keep everything um, in it's like a um, what do you call it like duct tape I guess but yeah I don't like the colors of like the brown or just the clear duct tape so yeah I thought I would try this um, pretty pink one and see how it goes um, what else did I get for packaging? I don't think I... Oh, necessities. Yes. Okay, so I ended up needing some more glue. I use this glue pretty much um, for all my craft um, projects now. So it's, I find that it just glues down anything and everything. So yeah, I'm happy using this one. So it's just like... It's kind of like E6000 in a way. Um... But not, I just find it really good. It's waterproof, flexible. Um, 
what is that a hint of scent okay <laughs> i'm not sure we need that but yeah it pretty much works on um all crafty projects it comes out clear like a little clear amount and i just find it great for my crafting so um yeah i grabbed a big one of that so that's yeah part of my necessities that i needed to basically stock up on so next um I grabbed a pretty new stamp head. I had a friend, um, Kylie, ask me if I had a stamp head for my wax seals that was like Happy Mail um, theme. And I was like, oh gosh, no I don't. That's so, so weird that I don't. So I ended up finding this gorgeous um, wax head here. And it's got a little um, envelope with some hearts um, coming out of the envelope um, for Happy Mail. So I thought that was a really pretty stamp head. So I grabbed that. I can't remember how much it cost. It might have been around the $4 sort of price, I'm guessing. But yeah, really, really pretty. So thank you to Kylie for reminding me that I don't actually have a happy mail one and yeah this would be really nice to stamp on your envelopes or on the backs of your cards when you make handmade cards um i have some halloween goodies but i think i'll show those maybe last um next i actually speaking of wax seals i grabbed some of the stickers that are like sort of transparent and have like gold flakes through them and yes, I make my own, but I wanted to try some of these stickers as well. And these are easy for if you just want to gift them in some happy mail to pop in like a, um, you know, a loaded pocket or a library pocket. And I thought these were really pretty in these lilac colours. And they're really inexpensive as well. And they've got beautiful images on them. So I thought they were really pretty. Gorgeous. So, and then to go with those, I actually grabbed some um, nice envelopes. So these are like a, a vellum envelope. And I love vellum and glassine type products, so I thought these would be lovely. These look really nice if you stick a nice like sequin or a few sequins inside with your letter or a card, or just um, even if you're gifting some ephemera or some cutter parts. And they're and they look really cute as well if you're sticking one of these like clear. Um, wax sort of stickers on there or a wax seal I think they look lovely so yeah I think it's a 10 pack and they're a really um good good size so I'm going to be using those for my happy mail I then grabbed some of these beautiful fabric um butterflies I thought they could be nice to glue onto projects you get a huge amount in here and they're in like a multicolor they're like a multicolor pack so I'll just take some out so you can see the different um, colors that you get so they were like um it's almost like they're on like a um, organza or a chul and they've been sort of fussy cut around the edges and you can layer those up and glue them onto your crafty projects you probably um iron them out as well and you could also trim a bit more around the outer edges if you were wanting to so yeah they're really um 
really pretty. I like being, um, what's the word, is it look kind of like embroidered? And you get some really pretty colours. Some of them come flat, some of them come a little bit bent because they are stuffed into a, a plastic bag, but yeah, I just thought they'd be really nice to add to certain projects. They'd probably even work really nice if you stitched them onto something as well. So yeah, I've got a heap of those, so I'll most likely be, um, be sharing. So you get grey, yellow, green, blue, white, pink, purple, and did I say blue? So yeah, you get a heap in there. I think it's 50, 50 um, like organza butterflies in there. Um, next I ended up grabbing some frames, but I'm not too sure about, these are like huge. I didn't think they were going to be this big. <laughs> they came in this, which is awesome because look, now I've got a free, um, like packaging bag because they haven't like sealed it up. They've just done it so it's safe in the post. So yeah, I grabbed these, but they're a lot bigger than I expected. I thought they were going to be a little bit smaller than this. And also I'm not a big fan of this color gold. It's more like a bronze gold. Um, it's sort of very orangey brown and you guys know I like I prefer either um, like just gold or like champagne gold but this gold is just it's not a very pretty gold so I might even end up um, painting over that I do have some gold acrylic paint that I am currently waiting on um, so I might even end up painting over these but yeah I thought these would be great for um you know sticking a piece of paper cardstock paper on the back um you can make these into shakers or you can just decorate um the frame to gift in happy mail so that was my idea for those but like i said i didn't think they'd be so big and so like orange <laughs> I thought they'd be a nicer, nicer gold and a lot smaller. So yeah, I grabbed two of those, but yeah, like look at the size of them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not, it doesn't bother me too much about the size because I can work with the size. They're still great for gifting and making something fun. Um, but yeah, the colour, the colour is just not my cup of tea that's for sure but you know these things happen and we don't know unless we we try them so yeah I'll most likely be painting those um, next I grab like a mixed variety pack of some pretty like just little um, tassels lots of pretty um, colors in there just to stick on my you know Key rings, dangles, charms to hang off, you know, our projects, like a tote bag or something. So, yeah, you get some like minty greens, some pale blue, some peachy colors, some pale pinks, lilacs, um, gray, white, very similar to the colors that I got with the um, organza butterflies. And then I grabbed some little resin bows. I thought these were so cute. I've actually had them in my cart for quite a long time, just sitting there and I'm like, oh, it's time to grab them. And I thought these would work really well with, um, like they could work well with Halloween crafting as well, not just everyday crafting, be just because of the colors. There's a lot of like purple in these little resin bows. You can glue them onto your project, but yeah, I thought these would be great for Halloween, but 
also every day. But yeah, there's a lot of dark, um, dark colours in here. You've got some like pink gingham ones, some purples, these, some black with pink, like they're really pretty. Very different. I'll show you the, um, I'll give you a close up of these ones here. Just so you can see the variety of different bows that you get in this set. So yeah, I thought these would be great. They, they remind me of um, Karumi actually, like Karumi bows. They've all got like a plaid sort of um, pattern on them. They're a really nice size for decorating, you know, cute little embellishments. And I believe you get a heap in there. I reckon it's like a 50 pack. Yep, 50. Sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather too. I've got a sore throat and a runny nose. So yeah, winter has arrived here and I'm getting quite sick again. I'm actually off to the doctors today. So because I have no iron as well, I'm going to have to get an iron infusion. But Anyway, that's why my voice is a little bit, little bit funny today. So yeah, just a bit under the weather. Just got like a cold or a viral infection, something like that. Um, so next, oh, I grabbed these and I'm really disappointed in these. I thought I was getting more. Like I thought it was like a 10 pack or something. And then it arrived and I'm like, what? Just two. <laughs> so these are like just a big heart um resin bead <clears throat> excuse me um so yeah they're just like a big heart bead and these are really fun if you want to use them as dangles or to pop onto your um you know the pens that you make um like the beaded pens the um pokey tools things like that so yeah the idea is you stick you stick it through and you've got this like big heart heart bead which looks really really cute but yeah you only get two so I've got two giant pink gr pink two, <laughs> two giant green minty green sort of like an AB style heart beads and then I did get them in the pink So I've got two pink um, heart ones as well. The hole's actually a decent size, so they should fit onto our... I'm hoping they fit onto our pokey tools or our pens. So, but yeah, that hole looks quite big, which is good. But yeah, so does that one. So decent size hole. I don't think I have a one to test here at the moment on my desk. So um, yeah, grab those. Thought I was going to get more, but they are quite big. Like they're bigger than what I thought I was going to get. Um, I also grabbed these tiny, tiny little um, resin flowers. They're like your nail, nail charms, but they're tiny little flowers and they are perfect for embellishing yeah, a whole heap of different pretty pastel colours. So they're really pretty, especially for when you're creating really tiny embellishments and you just want something small to add some pretty um like detail to the project and then the last thing i've got that's not oh sorry no i lie <laughs> um i grabbed these like little 
they like look like stamps. So they're little stamp stickers. You get 46 pieces. I thought these were so pretty. They'd be so fun to add to like if you're making a handmade like postcard, embellished postcard, um, or to stick on your envelopes as decoration, layer behind pieces. I ended up getting another pack of these as well um, to gift. And I also grabbed some other things as well to gift to some of my um, swap partners, but I'm not going to be showing those because I don't want to ruin the surprise. But how gorgeous. So this is like a floral set. Of, they're like pretty, um, like stamp looking stickers. So you've got the orange colour, you've got, um, oh, they're a bit mixed up, but that's okay. Some green, and they say flower market, or um, this one here says chamomile, this one says violets. Loved these ones, the colours are stunning. There's another violet one. This one says Flower Market, Amsterdam. Like, how cute are these? They would look so pretty stuck on, like, your vellum, vellum envelope for decoration as well. That looks so cute. You've got pink, red, we've got pale blue, but yeah, you guys get the idea. Like, how pretty are these? Some of them are around the wrong way, backwards, but that's okay. But yeah, I thought they were really um, cute. They were a great price. I have tried to buy them in the past before and they were, they kept going out of stock. Like they were that popular. So I finally managed to get a set for me and a set for a crafty friend. So I'm happy about that because I love things that look like pretty stamps that we can stick onto our, yeah, crafty projects. So grab those. I'm not going to try and get them back into the box right now because Oh, these ones are so pretty and they got a little bit bent. Oh, that's a pity. Look at how pretty these ones are. I might be able to, they might flatten out once you stick them onto a project. A gorgeous colour. So, yeah, grabbed those. I thought they were super cute. They just come in this little little box here. It's just a whole heap of pretend stamp stickers. Um, okay, one more thing and then I've got some Halloween um, things to share with you. I'm starting to stock up on to get ready. We know how quick that comes around. So these, oh, so pretty. Look at this gorgeous container. I can use this um, for Christmas and pop like, it could be like a little embellishment container. You can dangle onto like a, a tag flip or an album. It's so cute. 
So I'm definitely going to be keeping this. I'm going to take all these beautiful, um, they're like little bead pendants. <gasps> did I do it that around the wrong way? I think I did. Yeah, that's all right. Save for the day, kind of. Some of them got a little bit mixed. These are beautiful little, um, kind of like wire wrapped beads, so you don't have to do it yourself. But they're like pretty little flowers. The work is already done for you. You can just stick them straight onto your chain to make like a pretty um, tassel. And I thought the colours were so pretty. Look at those. They are gorgeous. Sorry, I hope I'm in frame. I am sitting down so I can't see that well. <laughs> But yeah, I thought they were so pretty. And yeah, I love the little bonus um, little star container they come in with a little hanging piece. It's like awesome. So very beautiful set and not too expensive as well. Um, so next is just the Halloween um, bits and pieces that I grabbed. So I ended up grabbing some purple sequins. Nice and um, shiny. These are lavender, 10 grams. I then grabbed some black ones. They're also 10 grams. I then grabbed some little purple um, resin spiders. I love to stick these on my projects. I have a feeling a couple of them that they sent they look kind of like they don't have the purple on them they look a little bit white like iridescent but I'll take them out of the pack so you can get a good look you get 20 pieces and yeah these are meant to be the purple but like I said some of the colors were a bit you know how you get some really good ones and then you don't but I thought the purple would be really pretty as I've got the white ones in my stash which I love to use and the black ones I think I grabbed some green and some pale pink ones as well last year but I wasn't too happy with those colors um, I absolutely love the white ones so I thought I'd try um, yeah these like lilac sort of purple color because I want to try and do more sort of purpley pink um, Halloween, as you can probably already tell by the colours that I've grabbed. I'm going to be doing like pinks, purples and blacks, um, and probably still orange as well. Um, I grabbed a decorative pumpkin. I do have one of these, but I wanted to grab one um, to to gift in like a Halloween um, happy mail. Just try and find the opening. So I grabbed it in the pretty um, pink. And these are just fun, like nice little decor to, you know, stick around in your house or your craft room. like a pink pumpkin 
So yeah, I already have a couple of these um, from the last couple of Halloweens. So I thought I'd grab one um, to share. I then found these cute witches hats. I thought these were so adorable. They're a lot bigger than I thought they'd be, but I'm not too fussed. Um, they're really cute. You can decorate them up and send them in your happy mail. So you get um, six. They're like made out of um, felt. And they've got the round, like the gold ribbon around the edge. They're so cute. So you could decorate, decorate these up to how you like. You could stick some of your little, um, you know, resin spiders and all kinds of things on it. Glitter. You'd stick a hole in the top. You could turn them into like a, a key ring. So yeah, lots of um, uses for these little witches hats, I thought. And then I think one more thing to go. Yeah, so it's some packaging. Oh, I don't know. So these are treat bags. You get eight pieces. I thought they were so adorable to gift like your Halloween gifts in for your swaps. So... They're a good size. They didn't cost a whole lot. They were pretty good price. I mean, most things on Timu are a great price. That's why we shopped there. <laughs> like, how cute are these Halloween treat bags? I thought they were so adorable. So you've got the pink with the ghosts. We've got the handles, and then you've got the black ones that say Happy Boo Day. Oh, actually, I've got a few different ones. So, sorry, let's start again. Two of the Happy Boo Day. So cute. Look at the chocolate on the drizzled over the boo. And the little ghosts are going trick-or-treating. They've got their little candy buckets. I'm sorry, with these ones, there would be two other different ones. So, oh, look at that. So cute. So, so cute. So, you get two different um, patterns in the out of the um, eight. Yeah, it's a two of two of each pattern. And there's the other one. It's like a little ghost of a black cat. So cute. So there's my recent haul. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll try and leave all the links down below if the items are still available. If they're not available, I won't have the link down below. Um, so yeah, take care guys and thanks for supporting my channel. Bye.